Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Kimbo Slice and Kane Velasquez. Class and striking. Yes. We can't finish them in one round. From the backyard brawls to the biggest show in the sport, here is Kimbo Slice making the UFC walk yet again. And you can be sure, when Kimbo's on the fight card, the masses are tuning in. Everybody's tuning in. There are fight parties all around the country. Yes. Kimbo's fighting. He just has that ability to get people together to compete. He's one of those guys that regardless of wins and losses, you still want to see him go. But trust me, Kimbo lands the right hand. Yes. Most times he is getting his hand raised. A phenomenal, phenomenal boxer, has professional boxing experience, and also just a draw in every sense of the word. Good to see Kimbo Slice ready to go here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years apart, with similar height and the same reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 14 wins, three losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, King Velasquez! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of five wins, Two losses and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Kimbo Slice! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready. All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to try to take him down. There you go. Oh, high amplitude slam for him there. Wow. Versus position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh, huge flux. And they separate. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? When you're in the clinch, you go to the body. That's an investment. You keep on putting that money away with every single body shot. Nice takedown land. Nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Just out of range with that right hook. 
big ball from Crunch Land. Now we get back to ring. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He landed him upside his opponent's head over and over again. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it. How about that strike over the top, and now his opponent in a shot of double leg? Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. to do something with that left arm. He's isolating the Kimura attack. Notice he'll pick up his left leg, step over the head. Once he gets him on his side, he'll start to apply pressure to try to get the fit. Nicely done. Oh, his opponent's squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some real good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. in a single collar tie. The tie. record is on repeat. Wash and rinse over and over again. It's takedown after takedown. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he's still standing after taking that ball. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective. He's got to be careful dipping his head and throwing that jab. Velazquez goes for the takedown. Unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that attack. Right hand on point. Connects now with the one-two. Collar tie. Beautiful strike. Man, the takedowns have come in bunches tonight, and there is another one. That was his strategy coming in. He has executed to perfection tonight. It never works out perfectly, but today it seems to be going as great as it can be. I know the takedowns don't look beautiful. They don't look perfect, but it doesn't matter. He's a submission guy. All he needs to do is get you to the ground. Right. So even if it looks a little bit bad being there, he is accomplishing the ultimate goal. That's to make you grapple with him. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. And they separate. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Nice straight right lands. Oh, look at shot right on the button. That is the most debilitating shot in all of fighting. It is very difficult to recover from that. Velasquez's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, 
why would he change it? He's gonna shoot for another takedown, and I would almost be willing to bet he's gonna secure. I'll take your action. Okay. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. to land a high number of strikes. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 41 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by...